freaking Obama freaking the hell out after what FBI officials just uncovered in Raid More Treason by Chrissy Holly for VeteranAF.com. Shocking new information has broken the internet in recent days about the unbelievable acts of treason that Obama committed while in office. Last week, hardcore evidence emerged how Obama worked hand-in-hand hand with ISIS terrorists to secure massive amounts of weapons and arsenals to their terror group. Then immediately after that report surfaced, alarming information revealed how Obama turned a blind eye to Hezbollah's drug trafficking and money laundering operations in order to appease Iran and ensure his Iranian nuclear deal would be finalized. Now the floodgates of another Obama scandal is blowing wide open after the FBI just raided a Virginia man's home who has very close ties with Obama where boxes of suspicious items were just removed. It's truly amazing how deep Obama's treasonous antics were over the past eight years, but just because Obama's out of the White House, that doesn't mean he isn't uh, done uh, trying to take a sledgehammer to our country. Now Obama's good Muslim buddy is being brought up on federal charges after a raid went down in Sterling, Virginia that was prompted by an FBI investigation according to the conservative Daily Post. Last Friday of uh, this year, the Federal Bureau of Investigated, uh, Investigation Agents were raiding a home in Sterling, Virginia a home inhabited by a person with a shocking connection to the Obama administration. FBI and other law enforcement removed packages from a condo they raided in Sterling. Neighbors say a man and woman who dressed uh, Middle Eastern and had a lot of packages delivered moved in a few months ago. The FBI isn't saying what uh, it's investigating. The home of Sterling, uh, Virginia, contains Sean Andrew Duncan, a Muslim convert who, according to the FBI in their affidavit, stated his intentions to join ISIS in Syria, where they are currently being slaughtered. Sean Andrew Duncan also shared information on how to make a bomb with a woman who is currently in international custody. It seems that Duncan moved to the D.C. area to associate uh, with the Arabic language program taught at Fawaki Institute based in Sterling. Duncan uh, apparently loved the program so much that he gave testimonials about it and uh, worked to raise funds for the program. Most interesting of all, one of the Fawaki Institute's Arabic language program's top advisors is Mohammed Majid, uh, who was a top Islamic advisor to the Obama administration. Isn't that precious? Suspicion of the Duncan household began when he and his wife tried to travel to Turkey but were rejected by the Turkish government and sent back to the United States. Isn't that precious? Again, he, they were, Turkey wasn't accepting him and sent him back. Unbelievable. When they arrived back in the United States, the Federal Bureau of Investigations interviewed Sean Andrew Duncan before releasing him back into the United States instead of locking him up, as I should say. According to Duncan's associate, Duncan was uh, her contact with ISIS in the United States, and she had talked with him using encrypted applications. She said that Sean Andrew Duncan provided her with instructions on how to make a bomb take taken from the ISIS-backed Inspire magazine, written and printed by Al-Qaeda in the Arab, uh, Arabian Peninsula. The article uh, he provided to her was called How to Build a Bomb in Your Mother's Kitchen. 
Wow, isn't that great? Just last month, the government became aware of Duncan running a Twitter account, uh, which is an Islamic phrase that translates to the Islamic State. That information, combined with other information that the FBI had collected, led them to request a search warrant from a federal judge so that the FBI could search for further evidence that Duncan was working with the Islamic State. When the FBI served the uh, search warrant, Duncan attempted to flee, carrying a bag with USB flash drive he had snapped into pieces. The FBI maintains that he was attempting to destroy evidence of his collusion with the Islamic State, but it sounds like they have plenty to go on already. What's chilling is that this terrorist who was actively plotting to carry out jihad on Americans comes from the same uh, Islamic Institute that Obama frequented. Below is a picture of Obama with the leader of the very same mosque that radicalized Duncan. Is, and look who we had in office, guys, for eight years, let, let, let alone, right? Thanks to Obama, not only is ISIS, has ISIS risen to power with the massive stash of American weapons they now have at their disposal, but ISIS now have a solid foothold in our country. It's time for President Trump to crack the whip and go after Hussein Obama with a vengeance, yes and show the world what happens to traitors who sell us down the river in order to further the cause of Muslim terrorists who have vowed to kill us. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Isn't that great? Unbelievable. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.